And I think it's very important that by getting it out of your head, to do that, you've got to think and structure it so it makes sense to someone else. And I think that's, a, for me, the art of creating, whether you're creating a video or writing, is getting out of your head means you're forced to structure, distill the noise and complexity into simplicity. And I think it's really, really important. And a lot, I don't think a lot of people get that. They just go and do stuff and there's just incredible amount of knowledge sitting in people's brains. Yeah, um, and, okay, so how did you do that? Oh, it's just natural. I said, okay, let's, let's dive deeper and let's structure this. Um, in fact, um, sat down with a mate the other day um, and uh, he loves origami and creates and he's, he's a maths teacher, ex maths teacher, but does origami and, and origami is actually very maths driven in terms of how you fold and everything else. And he, he rang me up the next day, so I'm excited. He talked about, you know, getting, explaining what you do, your art to the world. And he, he said, I'm going to read out to you how I make origami and what it means to me. And he read me like a thousand words over the phone. I went, yeah, that, that felt rather special to inspire someone to explain their gift to the world and how they do it. And um, it, it's pretty special. And uh, the question also I had as you were talking there was, do you record those Zoom calls when you're training someone and explaining yes. it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, and, and we do it on purpose. It's part of the plan because they need to review it later. I definitely don't expect that they're going to have it all. Because a lot of times, especially if you're training a team member, it might be the first time they're sort of exposed to that new skill that you're training them on. Yep. So they're going to want to review it you know, later and maybe take screenshots from it. Because just because video works for me and my modality and talking things out, some kind of auditory, the, the ability for me to learn that works. But for somebody else, they might need to actually implement it a little bit. They have to maybe write it down, take some screenshots, pencil it out, structure it out. Mm. And that's for me, that's a nightmare. Like I'm just like, I don't have time. I just hate it. Right. Cause I'm just not built like that. But for other people, they're like, I could never talk this thing and just talk through it. Like you do. It's impossible. I need to write it down and pencil it out and structure it and do, and they, that energizes them. Whereas for me, it, it would just totally drain my batteries for them. They love that. And that's what I think is an, another huge benefit of having people on the team is you start getting all of those different, those little DNA molecules, right? So things that energize me like teaching, I can do all day long. Like I, I can talk for 24 hours a day if I'm teaching, but if you, if they put me into like client invoices and sending out invoices, <laughs> I will delay that forever. Cause I mean, it's not that it's hard. It's just emails, but it's extremely boring and process driven and you know, my, my wife actually works with us. She's worked, we hired her uh, four years ago now and she is the opposite of me. So you give me a whiteboard, I can pencil out ideas and, and then no problem. You give her a whiteboard, she will freak out. Does not like that. She needs a process. And it was a huge, well, it was a whole other conversation we can get into like working <laughs> with your spouse. But it was a huge lesson when yeah. I realized, like, cause I'm just like, well, what do you mean you don't know how to just go figure it out, right? Cause that's what I do. So of course other people should do that. She's not built that way. She needs a process. So when I learned that, when I learned, okay, create a process first, give her the process, and then she could execute on that process. Now clients get their invoices and have for years, right? Because she's doing it and it's, and she likes it. It's fine for her. It's an energizing task, right? And yeah. she's taken that and still improved the process. So it's not like she's just stagnant leaving the process there. She's made it better over time, but she needed the steps and that's what she's comfortable in. And I can go do what I need to go do. She can go do other stuff that she does. She works with our, as an example, email automation, like uh, Infusionsoft, you know, we use Infusionsoft. So she handles all of our campaign builds and everything else because it's very process driven. She does not come up with the campaigns, but when somebody else has planned it out, she builds it. Right. And so it's just, just another example of how everyone can use their special skills and their superpowers to help other people.